thank you for your interest in Northview Family Dental. I'm going to give you an inside look at our practice and what it takes to succeed here. For the right person, we think this could be one of the most fun and rewarding job experiences you've ever had, but we're not right for everyone, so pay close attention. At the end, there will be specific instructions on how to apply, and we're only going to consider those who show an understanding of what follows. All right, let's get started. There are four parts to this video. The first covers our company purpose, niche, process, and values. Second, we'll take a look at what it takes to be successful at this job. Third, we'll give you a look at our management practices so that you can see up front how we'll work together. And finally, if this sounds like the right fit for you, we'll tell you how to apply. Let's start with a little bit about us, why we do what we do, and what makes us unique. Our purpose, cause, and passion is to smile more, give more, and live more. Smile more because we're in dentistry and smiles are our business. We want people to love having a healthy mouth. Give more because we believe giving back is fundamental and we highly value making a difference in our community. And live more because we believe that by giving back to our community and enabling people to smile results in all of us living a more fulfilled life. Our niche is to deliver a consistently positive dental experience. We call this PDE for short. It may sound simple, but it's a profound concept in the dental industry. Our services include all general practice dentistry procedures, including implant placement and limited orthodontics. So how do we achieve this purpose? Well, we strive to work with patients who are dedicated to their oral health. Not only is it the right thing to do for the patient, it's also a better way to do business. We are clear with what our patients can expect from us throughout their entire experience, from their initial exam, through billing, and all future care. We hire, cultivate, and empower the best talent. We continually measure and refine our process to ensure the best outcome. We create a culture of shared success, where our team and the business benefits through working together. Now, on to our process. We are riding a new wave of dentistry where we put the patients first. This means optimizing the patient experience from flexible hours to comfort in the ops and ensuring that our patients are well-educated on the services they'll be receiving and what their investment will be. This is dentistry that serves a purpose. We're looking to create patient surplus by educating our patients on their oral health so that they truly value it. For us, there's nothing worse than doing everything we can to help ensure a patient gets the best service possible and then having the patient not follow through with treatment because they don't understand the importance of it. We truly believe in a commitment to our patients that goes above and beyond a routine exam. This includes educating patients on what they'll financially be responsible for and how to best utilize their benefits. Sound a bit ambitious? Well, here's how we make it work. We follow an eight-step process with every patient, and it's worth mentioning that this process, in this order, results in an unparalleled positive patient experience. Remember that PDE we strive for. Step one, flexibility. We're committed to flexible scheduling for our patients, offering extended weekday hours and Saturday appointments in the near future. We respect and value our patients' time, and in return, they respect and value ours by keeping appointments. Step two, appointment clarity. Whether new or a lifetime patient, we want to ensure that our patients know exactly what to expect at their upcoming appointment and that we've answered any questions or concerns they may have prior to them getting here. Step three, PDE. Do you remember what that stands for? We are committed to the entire patient experience from the time they walk in the door until well beyond the time they leave our office. At every visit, our patients are greeted with a comfort menu of complimentary items, which includes bottled water, warm towels, Netflix, blankets, aromatherapy, and laughing gas, just to name a few. This lends to that positive dental experience we're committed to. Step four, consistently accurate diagnosis. This step, although it seems like an obvious one, is essential to establishing trust, a crucial step in developing our patient relationships. Step five, education. 
Along with an accurate diagnosis, we believe educating our patients on the services being provided in easy to understand non-clinical terms is essential to their PDE. We want patients to feel comfortable and encourage them to ask questions. Step six, payment. Insurance or not, every patient deserves to understand all of their financial options when investing in their oral health. We ensure the patient understands what their insurance covers and what their investment portion is, furthering to help build trust through clarity. Step seven, treatment. We're committed to patients getting the treatment they need as quickly as possible to preserve, restore, and ensure oral health for the long term. Step eight, follow up. Finally, we want our patients to know we care about them beyond the office. That's why we're committed to post-treatment calls and texts to ensure their treatment went well, they're healing properly, and they don't have any follow-up questions. As you can see, it's an in-depth process that not only ensures that we're making a positive impact on our patients, but that our patients feel heard and know we are creating perpetual improvements to meet their needs. The end result is happier, healthier patients, higher retention rates, and better treatment acceptance. Our values are a critical part of who we are. If you haven't already seen our values video, you can find it at the link below. If your values don't align with ours, then let's face it, we're not likely to be a good fit for each other. In addition, you'll be asked about and hear us refer to our values several times throughout the interview process. This is why we require you watch the values video. Now we'll be moving on to the competencies and responsibilities of the patient experience coordinator position. Competencies are traits, skills, and behaviors that we think are necessary to be successful in this position. High standards. You set the example for what a great experience should be and accept nothing less than just that. You are the first impression for NVFD and understand the importance of being an ambassador for the practice. You are great at balancing personal and professional interaction to establish trust and build relationships. You maintain emotional maturity and don't let outside circumstances interfere with your work environment. Discerning. You are situationally aware and make quick judgment calls to ensure the best patient experience and maintain a great work environment. You're okay taking calculated risks and being flexible when patients and teammates need change, acting in the best interest of the patient and office. Initiative. You identify what needs to be done and do it before being asked or before the situation requires it and tend to do more than what is required of you. Organized. You understand the importance of prioritizing your workload and meeting deadlines. Being organized is essential to making this a possibility. Patient-oriented. You enjoy working closely with patients, try to see things through their eyes, and go out of your way to educate and make them feel comfortable. You continually seek ways to communicate with patients in a way they will understand. You may be starting to notice that our values are heavily saturated in our required competencies. Strategic thinker, problem solver. You strive to discover the root cause of problems and make decisions with the overall best interest of the team or patient in mind. Moving on to what you'll specifically be accountable for. Patient experience and relations. You should be amazing at connecting with and reading people. This is extremely important because you are the patient's first impression. Your job will be to ensure that every patient experience is above and beyond what they would ever expect from a dental office. New patient experience and relations. We insist on creating such a top-notch first impression for new patients that they will undoubtedly become lifelong patrons of the practice. Your role is pivotal to the success of the initial scheduling of the first appointment through the scheduling of the patient's second appointment. Marketing support. If we engage our patients and team on a level they've never experienced before, retention of both is inevitable. This is where you'll get creative and have fun through giveaways, celebrations, and social media. Front office support. There are a lot of ins and outs to ensuring the patient experience is amazing which means you'll need to be supportive of the front office with verifying insurance, occasionally answering phones, and doing post-op follow-ups via text or phone. VIP program. 
you'll be tasked with disseminating enthusiasm for our patient VIP program. This includes spreading the word about the program, tracking appointments, and rewarding patients for their diligence in maintaining their oral health. Reprogram. When patients come in for their regularly scheduled cleanings and treatments, we all win. This means recalling and reactivating old patients, retention of current patients, and recare, getting patients to follow through with their treatment plan. This next section covers our management practices. We want to give you an upfront look at how we operate, manage, and hold each other accountable. First, we have a no blame, no gossip policy. This falls directly under our ownership and great place to work values. We expect everyone to follow our process. This leaves no room for personal blame or talking about people without addressing an issue. Either the process works or it doesn't. That said, we invite feedback and are open to constructive criticism. We strive to foster an environment of transparency, trust, and clarity. This leads to better outcomes for everyone. As long as everyone is open, honest, and accountable, we can make progress within our team, with our patients, and as a business. Policy two is what we call GWC, which stands for get it, want it, and have the capacity to do it. This helps ensure we have the right person in the right position. To do that, we require that you, one, get it, meaning you understand your job and role in the company as a whole. Two, want it, actively desire to do your job. Three, have the capacity to do it. Have the skills, availability, emotional foundation, and meet the physical requirements to do the job. Policy three is weekly and quarterly meetings. We regularly touch base to make sure the whole team is on the same page. This means reviewing previous week events, educating and updating everyone on upcoming events, addressing concerns and answering questions, openly celebrating team and individual wins, quarterly trainings to ensure that everyone is professionally and personally advancing. Policy four is leadership and management. We believe that if we lead and manage correctly, accountability will follow. Leadership means that we will provide you with vision, direction, and opportunity. Management means that we will provide you with clear expectations, honest communication, and support in executing your job. What follows are some of the management practices and tools we use at our company. If we hire correctly, we hope that working with us may be one of the best jobs you've ever had. That being said, from time to time, anyone can have a job performance issue. We want you to know how we handle this in advance so you can determine if this seems like a good fit for you. In the next slide, we will show you the tools and practices we use at our company. This is our people plan. So how do we assess performance? The management team uses a simple tool called the people analyzer to help us evaluate how each employee is doing in the following two areas. One, embodying our company values. Two, demonstrating that they GWC, get it, want it, have the capacity to do it. We have a minimum bar for everyone in the company. If anyone falls below that bar, we have a conversation to address it. This is what the people analyzer looks like. It's a pretty straightforward system with our values along the top, followed by GWC. Using this chart, we rate people with a plus, a plus minus, or a minus. A plus means you embody the value of our behavior frequently. A plus minus means some of the time. And a minus means rarely. We do this analysis in mini quarterly reviews. During reviews, we'll talk about values alignment, accountability and role, your 90-day objective. If there's a gap in your job between what is happening and what is wanted, we'll discuss it and strategize how to close the gap. This also gives us an opportunity to address any issues and make sure we're supporting you in your job. This brings us to our final policy, the three-strike rule. When performance issues arise, we have a simple three-strike rule. Here's how it works. Your manager will collect three examples of the performance issue and schedule a conversation with you. That will be strike number one. You'll be asked to close the gap over the next 30 days. For most people, this is the only strike they will receive. If the gap has not been closed in that 30 days, 
your manager will again collect three examples of the performance issue and schedule a conversation with you. This is strike two. Again, you will be asked to close the gap over the next 30 days. If the gap has still not been closed, then your manager will collect another three examples of the performance issue. This will be strike number three and you will leave the company. This rarely happens, but is in everyone's best interest when it does. Just as we stated earlier in our values, we strive to be a great place to work. If you share our values and GWC the position you're applying for, we suspect that this will be a fun and rewarding experience for you. Our employees are like family, and we want them to be proud to work at a company that stands by its values while having a voice in the company's future. In short, we want them to be successful and this relationship to be a true win-win for both parties. So if this sounds like a fit, here's what to do next. Here's how to apply. Send your cover letter and resume to nvfdjobs at gmail.com. After reviewing your application, if you're deemed a potential fit, someone from NVFD will reach out to schedule a time to ask a few questions and review the rest of the interview process. We recognize that this is a significant investment of your time. Thank you for watching, and we hope to hear from you soon.